Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm James with JC Trails, and I've been taking a little break from YouTube. Just been resting, relaxing, and enjoying life. Knees feeling great. Also excited to get back to work doing my day job, flying airplanes. Just took a trip recently down to Orlando to regain my landing currency, and I will be back flying full-time in March. I'm back in New England now, and it's typical February weather. Rainy, cold, snow on the ground, no riding for me. With the weather being what it is, I thought I'd take this opportunity to learn how to manual. I can do wheelies, but not manual. So I want to build a little manual machine. So hopefully I could be doing this down the trail in no time. Whee! All right, on our way to the hardware store, we're gonna get some supplies for the manual machine. It's total crap weather out here, so no riding. Um, can't even practice manually outside because it's raining. So off to Lowe's and uh, let's get some supplies. So we're gonna need some wood screws to put the thing together. And I think we're in the right aisle, right? The screws. <laughs> so we got some wood screws. I'm gonna go with these eight and three quarters. A little free bit on there. 10 bucks. These are good ones. Let's go get some wood. So we're gonna need uh, two, two by six by eight feet long. Two of these, and then we're gonna do one two by four eight feet long. And that should be all the lumber we need. All right, we need a threaded hook for the bungee or rope to hold the front wheel down just in case you go too high and you loop out. Just over 40 bucks, 4182 attacks. Not too bad. All right guys, back in the bike basement. Um, got all the wood, all the supplies ready. Got my little eyewear so I don't get splinters in my eyes. But I'm not gonna teach you how to build the actual ramp. There's actually a lot of good videos on YouTube how to do this. Um, I'll leave a card thingy, whatever you call it. This one right here, I just watched that Kyle and April channel, pretty good channel. He uh, builds one for 25 bucks, so I think that's pretty reasonable. I paid 40 because we live in New England, everything costs like double. Um, but uh, I'm gonna get the cutting, get this thing built, and see if it works. So I don't know if that's good for side to side action to balance, to get your balancing going, but you can always adjust it. Just loosen this up and kind of move these side supports in just to touch. I mean, it's not perfect looking, I know, but I'll do the trick. Hey. Hi. All right, this is my first attempt on the manual machine. Got you in a wide angle so you get the whole picture. So watching all these how-to manual videos, it's kind of hard to replicate it in real life and really practice on your form so you know everything says to go down and out kind of keep your arms locked and keep your head up and look ahead um so let's see if i can at least do a little mini manual on this thing and guard the back brake but it doesn't really help you in my manual machine but good muscle memory all right so down out down out down out uh, not looking up. Gotta look ahead. All right. Down, out. I suck. Ah. Down more, I think. Out. Look ahead. Oh, oh. <laughs> so these practice manuals with the chain on, and then uh, I think I'm gonna take the chain off and then replicate like 
actually manually in real life a little bit more. So down, out, head up, and guard back break. Gotta drop the heels a little bit more. Oh shit. Oh, oh, <laughs> I think I can stay here all day long. <laughs> all right, but I can get down lower. Close the back tire, see how it feels. <sighs> Woo, it's tiring. No chain. Pretty easy to chain on. Whew. Whoa. <laughs> uh, all right. I think I got that better form on this to actually make it happen. Oh, God. Too much pulling. Too much arm bending. Oh, shit. That's just this cable. Definitely more realistic. Ho! Oh. All right, not giving up. One more. I think I need to make that cable shorter. All right, down. All right. It's gonna take some practice. All right, guys, it is the next morning on the manual machine. As you can see, the chain is still off. And I also uh, shortened the, uh, the leash here to hold my front tire down a little bit more so I don't loop out like uh, my last couple of attempts. But uh, it's been going pretty good. Just, it's really nice to have this consistent practice tool. Like you can just sit here and really practice on your form. So hopefully this will correlate to better manuals out in the real world. But practice makes perfect. Down more, you go down. Okay. <laughs> ha! Woo! All right, well, hopefully this correlates to the real world out in the streets and on the trails. Um, really fun though, good practice. Definitely recommend making a manual machine, especially if you live where it's cold and rainy out and snowy. Can't really go outside as much as you'd like. Thanks for watching. I'll definitely update you on a future video of how the manual is going or manualing is going. Hopefully I can get this sucker in the trail, the mega tower and just be screaming downhill on the back wheel. I'll see you next time. Peace.